Get it. I don't care what complexion you are. Get it. I can't breathe. Alright. Alright. I feel like I'm the problem. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jem. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a try and haul on the newest navigation, of course, because I am a navigation athlete. If you guys didn't know yet, I am affiliated with navigation. So if you guys want to support me, use my code Jem at checkout. No, it is not a discount code. It is just a support code. When you do use my code, I do get a small commission from it. So for everyone that's been using it, love you i appreciate you i'm gonna try to keep this as short and sweet today i'm actually doing this last minute because they sent over last minute items and i kind of wanted to put that all in one video it's been a long time since they've released anything i think it's been a little bit over two months if i'm correct and i also have not posted a video in such a long time and I told you guys I would post more videos. But anyways, that's besides the point. I want to focus on this launch because this launch, there's new things coming. There's a change coming. And I was a little bit iffy about this change when I first saw it on their Instagram page. Because for this launch, they are releasing the Contour 2.0 and i'm excited but also like a little hesitant because i still love my contour leggings you know that's like my ride or die they never fail me and although the 2.0 looks great we still don't know how it feels so we're gonna find that all out today i want to show you guys this big old box I don't think I got too much stuff from here. And before I officially start this try and haul, let me show you guys my measurements. It's been a long time since I really have done a try and haul and I feel like my body changes so fast and I think I'm around like 129 pounds. I know. So if you're a petite person, I'm 4'11 for reference. If you're short like me and you struggle with, you know, sizing and just being able to fit in regular clothing, let alone like fitness clothing with navigation, you're in the right place because I'm here to let you all know how it feels. And yeah, let's go ahead and open in this box okay so in this box i got this candle look at a booty mm. it's like a coconut smell <sighs> the best smelling butt ever bombastic side eye okay i'm gonna grab the catalog and i'm also gonna share this in the description below there are going to be restocks and you guys will have a full description of all the colors and all of the details so go check that out in the description below also if you guys want to see more high-end hauls in the future i promise i have more videos coming up i actually have it lined up right now and it's just a matter of posting it weekly if you guys want to see future try-on hauls consider subscribing to my channel and turn that ring bell button on so you get notified every time i post without further ado let's go ahead and get started i'm just gonna start putting on outfits together whichever one feels like looks cute together we're just gonna go at it. Outfit number one. I am wearing the Passion Seamless Bra along with the Contour Seamless Shorts. This is the Periwinkle. This is actually a new color. I know they have a lot of like purple-ish color, but this is the first Periwinkle. I really love the back of this bra because it gives a lot of airflow, gives you a lot of ventilation back here. And of course, the shorts have always been really cute, so I really love it. I do want to say that because I've gained weight, I do feel like everything feels tighter, and that's that's on me. That's not on products themselves. So I, I normally wear smalls on tops and bottoms. So because of the weight gain, I feel like I'm starting to lean a little bit in between sizes, like small, between size and medium. If I were to have small here and medium here, I feel like I'm right there does that make sense i feel like the top is very lengthy you know i feel like there's been other bras that are shorter but because i have a short torso i'm definitely gonna like roll it in because when i unroll it like this it honestly gives zero room <laughs> for my stomach to even exist that's the only thing i am concerned with and that goes for the back it does have removable bra pads so if you're not comfortable with a bra pad 
feel free to take that off it is seamless which is really nice because when you have seams in the bra like you can get some tugging in certain areas and because this is a one shoulder strap i do want to say this is like a low impact bra i definitely wouldn't do any like hit workouts in these i probably would stick to like leg day in these but other than that it looks very cute the only thing i would like to see is to have the top a little bit shorter especially for short girls you know i don't know make it actually look like a sports bra and not like a one piece but overall i love this this is a leg day look next outfit oh my god i'm obsessed and i don't even really like blue like that but this color and the fit oh my god it's so cute so this is the ocean blue contour seamless shorts and this is how it looks when it's like not you know like you kind of have to ride navigation shorts up so if you especially if you're like short you want it to kind of like ride up a bit so it looks more proportional to your body but this feels more stretchier than the periwinkle and i love the periwinkle color but i think it's got something to do with the dyeing process probably and and the periwinkle somehow feels more like feels more tight and this just sits right there and then this is the invincible seamless bra these are both smalls this is also ocean blue i wanted to pair it up together because it's cute but i'm gonna ride this up just so you can see how it looks i i love it i feel good in it and i feel like even with the weight gain that I have right now, like I feel more comfortable wearing this compared to the periwinkle one. So the fitting really is different. It's got to be like the color. And also like I don't really wear a lot of blues. So this ocean blue is definitely a new color. Get it. I don't care what complexion you are. Get it. It feels comfortable and I bet you you're going to look so good in it. This is the back. Now, one thing I don't really like about this bra is that it does tend to dig in. Like if it rolls a certain way, it will dig in. But either way, I think it looks cute. It's super flattering and this color really goes well together. Normally when, normally when you have like two different like patterns, the color tend to, it has like a different shade. But for this one, like the colors are very well, it looks really good together. Oh my God, this feels so comfortable. Like I don't feel anything digging in. I also kind of like rolled it up a bit because you know, I'm trying to make it proportional for me because I'm short. I just love how simple this bra is. It's just like very, a very solid color. Um, it is a low impact bra based on the catalog. It's a low impact bra, but I feel, I mean, I also have small boobs, but I definitely feel comfortable like doing high intensity workout in these. But I do want to say that like over time, when you wear this bra for a long time, because it is so thin, it does tend to like pull, it tugs like hard and it hurts. So I wouldn't wear this for hours, but I can do high intensity workout in these. It's just very comfortable. But I don't know, I guess if you're like not an A cup, <laughs> this is gonna be a low impact bra for you. This is my favorite outfit so far and I love it. Very true to size, I would not size up at all. So I have the Invincible Seamless bra in, in sage green and I know these colors don't really match, but I wanted to show you this color because I, I don't even know what I'm gonna match it with, but I do think I have sage shorts. So I think I'm gonna match those two together next time. It feels the same, like the comfortability is the same as the blue one. This is a new color as well. So if you have any sage green leggings, this would be a good match. So for this outfit, I am wearing the Sports Seamless collection and I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm going to show you. I put it on and I was like, holy crap. Alright, I don't know how I feel about it. But before I show you, the Sports Seamless Shorts is a new product. There are Sports Seamless leggings and I have talked about this in the past that if you are in between sizes for Sports Seamless leggings, 
size up. For some reason, I did not size up because I was worried that I was gonna get a lot of scrunching in the front because the issue with sports seamless shorts or leggings is that um, if you size up, you will have a lot of extra fabric in the front, so you'll get a lot of scrunching, even though it feels, feels a lot better. So I think that's why I st stuck to my size, but this is how it looks. All right, I'm sucking it in. The bra isn't terrible. Like the banding on here isn't as tight as the banding for the bottoms. And I feel like this is one of those things where it looks cute on certain bodies, I guess. If you have a lower body fat, this is going to, I guess, feel and look more comfortable. As for me, I guess I have, I don't know, like, I should have sized up, but I also didn't want scrunching. It don't look flattering, but it's also one of those things where, like, if I adjust it fine, I can get away with it. But I'm not going to be in this position when I'm in the gym. I'm going to be moving around. So, like, I'm going to be, like, when I'm doing deadlifts, you know, like, my stomach is going to be poking out. So these are the things, like, especially when you're in the gym, like, you're going to be bloated. That's totally normal. You're gonna be bloating. And this isn't flattering. <laughs> Although I do gotta say, the back, the back, I don't like this. Like it's like squeezing me, but the back looks so good. It's just the front I'm not happy with because I just get this like a lot of like squeezing going on in the midsection and then it like I feel like I'm being squeezed out like a bottle. Get a little pouch going on but this is like extenuating this area. It looks cute in photos but I feel like the moment I start like I feel like the moment I start working out in it even with the leggings I feel like the moment I start working out in it it starts to roll. And I don't know how to fix that problem. I don't know if I'm the problem or <laughs> it's the leggings themselves. I do love the way it looks. I'll give you that, right? I love the way it looks and I really want to pull it off. But I feel like I'm the problem. I don't know if you guys have these at home and if you've tried these on, please let me know in the comments how you feel and like your experiences with the sport leggings because it's one thing if like, I watch like people talk about it, like influencers talk about it. It's, that's that's a different thing. I want to know your experience. So comment down below if you've had good experiences working out in the sports seamless leggings. Overall though, this this is cute. Like I love the design, right? I love the mesh here, ventilation. We love it. Um, the bra isn't so much a problem. I think it feels better than the bottoms, but I feel like I'm suffocating. And I actually have other shorts in these and I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get medium. I always get like a small and like a medium just to see how it, it would feel. So we're gonna still try it on and see if there are any differences in the sizing for the different colors. Oh my God, I can't breathe. All right, all right. This is how it looks. And I'm also wearing one of the newest bras that we'll be releasing, which is the Inspire Seamless Bra. Um, this isn't white because, you know, white is a safe color. The back is not a problem. It looks, actually it looks flattering. Actually, wait, now that I'm looking at it, this one looks cute, right? I feel like it sits right on my body. Um, it does, it just feels tighter around here. But I don't know if that's just a me problem because I've gained weight. Banding with a sports seamless, right? Like I love how it looks and I rarely like big logos, but they navigation really did an amazing job with making this look really simple. But overall, the black one isn't bad because I think because of like the solid color, it kind of takes out the shadows around here. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's black, so like you can't see all the shadows that are extenuating this little pouch right here. So I like it and the bra is comfortable. It is, I wanna say medium impact. It feels comfortable and like surprisingly, I thought I was gonna feel a lot of tugging from this strap. I actually don't. So I like it. Overall, this is a cute outfit. 
and it doesn't feel as tight now maybe like after a few wear like it'll feel more comfortable and I feel like a lot of these items specifically sports seamless leggings they feel tighter when you first wear them it's just a matter of like wearing it more and then it'll hopefully just like mold to your body remember how I was complaining about the tightness of the sports seamless shorts and being scrunched and how I realized I actually felt okay in it. I think I am the problem because I figured it out. Because I am short, right? I don't have a lot of skin in between my sports bra and my shorts. Um, I think the tightness of this band along with the shorts is squeezing my midsection. Therefore, I feel like I don't feel comfortable so it's a me problem, right? So I think if you're tall, you can get away with not feeling scrunched because you're going to have more space here. But overall, I love the way it looks. But that's just one thing you have to be mindful of if you are my height or your petite is that you're not going to have a lot of space here. I just don't like this part. I just feel like I'm being squeezed. Depending on your height and your weight, this could feel different. I like the look of it. The color doesn't feel any different from the other. Not my favorite from this collection only because it doesn't fit me right. But I know there are other ladies that are probably, you know, different heights different weight it's gonna feel different on you so just be mindful of that this is a lot tighter than normal contour it's hard to put on holy this is like a whole workout to put it on actually the material is different so this is nylon and spandex what i do love about it is that you don't get the contour like that like it's there but it's not there does that make sense so it's not as noticeable which i like you know i i wasn't against the contour themselves i know some people didn't like the contour on the quads but i personally like them but i understand it like some people want a more simple solid look but still being contoured and one thing i did notice i didn't even point this out um, there is a scrunch in the back, in the middle, like that. It's a subtle scrunch, so you're not like getting that wedgie. <laughs> I'm actually starting to warm up to these. I think the putting it on process is what's tough, but once you put it on, it looks amazing. And I don't get any extra fabric here. So for my short ladies, for my petite girlies, this is going to be just fine because I have short legs. So. And I love how flattering it is without being too loud. I think that's what they wanted for this one. Literally, that's what it says it here. I think it's to flaunt the beauty of your natural curves, but it is made with a buttery soft blend. It is a lot lighter. It feels a lot thinner compared to the old one. And overall, this actually looks good. I think just putting it on is what was kind of throwing me off a bit. But after like letting it sit on my body, I love all my god really really like these leggings it's like buttery smooth and you don't get a lot of like the is it called speckled i don't think that's a pattern for it but there is a pattern that was on the contour first contour leggings but this one is like just really smooth i think i had a hard time putting it on because i was sweating i've been sweating this entire time but i want to see if it is like squat proof I'm afraid that because it is so thin, it could be spot proof. So I'm going to do it here. Well, I'm going to do an RDL because I feel like RDLs are like the moments where it's like really stretched out. I feel like that should be a new thing. It shouldn't even be squat proof anymore because I know a lot of girlies at the gym nowadays are doing their RDLs, which... I'm really proud of because we're really working the glutes properly and using the proper exercises. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this try and haul. These try and hauls really do be making me sweat because like I have all the lightings out and it's just super bright. My camera's like overheating. My lights are overheating. But I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys don't know yet, the, this launch is going to be this Saturday on May 20th at 7 a.m. PT and that's 10 a.m. 
Eastern time. So my West Coast girlies, please set an alarm. I feel like I wake up late on weekends. I normally wake up around like eight on the weekend. So I like to sleep in, but I'm gonna set an alarm because I tend to forget because I don't want y'all to miss it. And I feel like there's a lot of great things coming out this launch. Lots of new colors, cute colors, like the ocean blue, so, so good. I don't want you to miss it. So set those alarms. Turn on notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will have like a notification turned on for you. I do have a feeling the Contour 2.0 is going to sell out. I believe they're only coming out with two colors, sorry, three colors, which is black, gray, and olive. I, I really was so close to getting the olive one, but I just might order that myself. The black one is a staple, right? But I feel like the gray one is like, if you want your booty popping, get the gray one. I feel like overall it was really good. The sports seamless was the only products, was the only item I was really struggling with because you know I'm short. Um, so everything is like eh, compressed. And if you would like to support me, use my support code gem. I do get a small commission off of that. It's not a discount code. I have to say that three times because I always get DMs from girls and they're always like, why don't I get a discount? Because it's not a discount. Use it if you want to support me. And if you do, I really appreciate you. I will be making more try and hauls because um, as of lately, I've actually been struggling with clothes and I feel like I could help you guys in some ways as well. Good luck on this launch because you're gonna need it. The 2.0 leggings, those are gonna sell out. I'm letting y'all know right now. Don't miss it. When I say like be there on time, like be at your computer 30 minutes before to get yourself prepped. Have a list of the things you wanna get so you're not like browsing. Have a list of everything you want right now. Look through the catalog, write it down and just go at it, okay? And secure the bag, secure the checkout. Soon as it hits, you know, that 7 a.m. time, 10 a.m. time, go at it. Don't even think about it. Don't even be like, I'm gonna come back to this later. No, I promise you, girl, you're not gonna have enough time because if you wait it out and decide to get it later, someone else is gonna get it. So I'm just letting y'all know right now, okay? These launches, they sell out. So anyways, thank you again for watching and good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.